Hello all YouTube video subscribers. I want to teach you how to do a vent solenoid change on an HHR. 2010 HHR. Get you guys under here so you can see what we're doing. Uh, there we are. The vent solenoid is this little doggy right here. That's your vent solenoid, if you can see. Then you gotta take these two clips, squeeze them as hard as you can, and then pull it off. And there's, and then you got your uh, your um, power wires back here. You want to make sure you're disconnecting before. And then you got another clip. Let's see right here. You gotta unhook it and pull it. It'll slide that way to your to your right of your car. As long as you get, but you want to have the the. The hose off this unhooked first get that unhooked and then go with the rest of the with the rest of the thing you do not want to take it apart and not have that unhooked first because it can be a son of a gun they are a pain in the butt to get off they're really really a pain in the butt to get off you guys are going to see how hard i have to deal with this thing because i've been trying to work on it and i figured i would do a video for you all to let you see how hard it is and whatnot and and it's not all that hard if you can get that line off of there. Once you get that line off of there, it's a piece of cake. I got my brand new vent solenoid right here. Brand new. And if you guys aren't a subscriber, smash that like button and that subscribe button. And I will have a bunch more videos. And if you view my channel, you'll see a crap ton of videos I have on how to do different things. Uh, shall we get going? We shall. Yeah, they squeeze the crap out of these things and give it a good haul. Let's see, I couldn't get it off there because I had that loose. Give me a second. No. Yeah, squeeze it real tight. There, finally got it. Holy cow. Okay, now that I disconnected that, hose, if you guys can all see, now I'm gonna take and uh, go up under here and disconnect this little wire right here. That where? It's only like a little clip. You guys ought to be able to see. Where's it at? Oh, there it is. That little clip. And then you just pull that little tongue down like that. And out she goes. And she'll look just like that. And this is a 2010 HHR, guys. I will have it listed. Like I said, if you're not already a subscriber, Smash that subscribe button for me, please, shall y'all? And then, there's that. Got that off of there. Nice. Brand new. Nice. Got it off, that old junker. Now, there's a rubber on there that you're going to want to pull off for your new one. Because if you don't have that, your old part's not going to, or your new part's not going to seal right. Because they do not send you with... Anything good, and you can tell mine's old. It's got the rest look onto it and everything from the dirt. Look at that port. It's all dirty. Some people clean these up and try to fix them, but eh, throw the old one away and get new. Because only about a few days down the road, you're only going to be doing it again because it's junk. Let's see. Old one. Or this is a new one, I'm sorry. See how it has no rubber? I got it right here. It will not fit. It will not seal this hole right up here. If you do, it will not feel uh, seal that hole at all if you don't put that rubber on there because that rubber is a gasket for it. 
Just clean this out as best you can. Check it out. Make sure there's nothing really nasty in it. Yeah, looks pretty decent. It's not all dirty like the end of that. So hopefully she just stayed stuck into there. And clogged that up and not the rest of my canister. Okay, now you want to take and make sure it's got like a flange thingy onto it. Two, two double bumps onto it. Well, you can tell this one has like a... My old one has three bumps onto it. Versus the new one. See, the new one's got this flange here. This one's got bump, 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 bump. <laughs> this one's only got one bump. Gotta stick that on there. Look at that. Nice fat. Perfect. I think I'm going to put it at the beginning of it. Just so it's evenly flush. See how I got her flush there? Flush at the end. Perfect. And this is a vent solenoid, guys. Vent solenoid. And then just push this off to the side. See all that dart kicking out of there? You want to take and tap on that a little bit and clean that out. See all that? Yeah, you want to get that all cleaned out of there so that way then when you squeeze these, oh, it'll come it'll come off easier next time for you. They get full of dirt and junk and whatever else in there. And then it's hard to squeeze them clips together. As you can see, I use these needle nose pliers to squeeze mine together and pop it off. Got it halfway and then got it out because if not, it, it's too hard to get them to to get them to come off. And then you got to fight with them. So that was the easiest way I found, and it didn't hurt it none or nothing. Not at one bit did it hurt it. It clips fine. And then sticking this back on, you want to take and put the rubber in first. Make sure you get it on there, and it'll seat and everything. You got to get it in the grooves too, because if not, it won't work. Get it through the grooves and then give her a good push and she should go right in. I don't know, mine's not moving. What the hell? And again, it might just be that rubber note. Holy cow! I don't think it's supposed to be that hard to push in. Let me see, maybe this one don't, maybe you don't have to use the boot on this. Let me see. Oh yeah, you have to use the boot because the spacer don't even fit it. So yeah, you have to use it. Maybe try sticking it in first. Yeah, try sticking it in. Put the rubber in there first. Like I just did, put it in there first. My mistake, sorry guys if you guys were watching that. I'm not going to redo the video for it. I'm just going to put this one in. And she's almost there now. Just got to hear that click from the thing. Ouch. Uh, nope. I ain't having no luck, guys. Nope. I ain't having any luck on this thingy today. I might have to put something on the table. There, brother. Nope. That's got to go in there. So come off the old one. You son of a bitch. One more. Come on, baby. You're like two, two things from it. Oh, I didn't even look. They gave me the wrong style hookup. Are you serious? Change in now. Son of a gun. There she is.
she's on. Got it. But the only thing is, is they gave me the wrong end. So now I'm going to have to go get the original end for it. Uh, the right end for it because they gave me the wrong end for it. Compliments of Amazon. Right. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 